Finally got the card again. Finally got the card again. Welcome to my channel. My name is Carly Inez and today I am finally doing a Coast Guard housing tour. House tour. I'm going to show you all around the house and keep in mind that this is not exactly what I want my house to look like. This is our first time living on our own. It's our first house. We had to buy everything for the first time. And we're only 20 years old so we didn't have a lot of money going into this so we did what we could and I am still slowly decorating this house. But at the same time, we're not trying to put too much money into this house because we're not going to be here for that long. This is only my husband's first station after boot camp. So he's still a non-rate, so he still has to go to A school for his rate, and then we'll be moving again after A school. So again, this is not what I want my house to look like, but it's what we got, and I love this house. I'm so thankful to be here. So I thought I'd give you an idea of what some of the housing looks like here at Training Center Cape May. And for the housing for this space, there are several different types of floor plans. They call them phases. I don't know exactly what that is. I don't know the information on all the other phases, and I don't even know for sure what phase we are in. But I can tell you that it's a two bedroom, one and a half bath house. And this is my second time recording this video. The first time that I did it, I had to do it with my DSLR because I didn't have a vlog camera. I had a vlog camera, but it was broken and I have been looking into getting it fixed, but my husband and I decided not to because it's such an old model. So we have been looking around to get a new camera and it was taking a while and I really wanted to get a house tour up for you guys. So I did it with my DSLR and that was a waste of time. It turned out terrible because of the lens that I have. It's a 35 to 80 millimeter and it's just way too up close and the camera is so heavy so it's it turned out really shaky. It was terrible. I tried to look past it. I tried to fix it but it's just it's not fun to watch. It was horrible to watch and I want to put out content that I am proud of and that's fun to watch and you enjoy watching. So all of that footage, I'm just throwing it in the trash, I'm getting rid of it because we finally got a vlog camera. And I am so excited to show it to you guys because it's not your typical vlog camera that you see all the big vloggers using. For one, that camera that all the vloggers are using is like $800 to $1,000, not in my price range. All of the cameras that I was looking at that were in my price range weren't hitting all the key points that I needed. All the ones that did hit all the key points, checked all of my checks off my list, it was like $800. So I was really stuck on what vlog camera to get, but my husband has mentioned this camera to me before hundreds of times. I just kept saying no, I kept shutting it down because it's not what I wanted in a vlog camera. I wanted the one that every vlogger had. Recently, last year, a new generation or a new model of this camera came out and I asked some new features on it that will fit my vlogging, but what the camera is actually made for is something different, but I'm so excited to use the camera for that also. So this camera is kind of hitting two birds with one stone. I'm really freaking excited about it. The more I watched YouTube videos on this camera, the more I looked into it and how it was for vlogging, I got even more excited. And now I'm, I'm so freaking excited to have this camera. And I did have to order a couple other things for this camera. I got a little unboxing to do real quick before we get into the house tour. Everybody knows this camera, so I'm sure you've seen this before, but it's so cool. It's the GoPro Hero 9 Black. Freaking cool! I'm so excited. This camera has millions of awesome features, but what caught my eye for the Hero 9 from the Hero 8 is that it has a viewfinder type of thing. That's what was most important to me for a vlog camera. I have been messing around with it and it's so cool. So this is the front of it. This little screen right here is the viewfinder and this is the back of it that has a bigger screen. The Hero 9 black. It's so cool. The little things that I had to get for the camera in order to just use it for a vlog camera, there's a million things that I want to get for doing all of our travel videos and like we want to learn how to surf. There's so many cool things that we want to do with this camera and my husband has wanted a GoPro for as long as I've known him. He did have one at one point, but it broke. Every single time we go to a store that is carrying GoPros, he is always checking them out every single time. So we did have a micro SD card on hand, 
but it was only a 64, so it's not enough. So I had to order a new one. I got the 128 gigabytes. Got my okay. okay. Had to get a little handheld tripod that extends so I can set the camera up and I can hold it because this camera is so tiny. And I looked at the reviews on this one and I watched a couple videos on it and it seems pretty good. It was $22.95 for this one. And I don't know how to pronounce the brand name, but it basically checked off everything that I was looking for in a tripod. But the original one that I wanted to get was back ordered until like May 30th. So I did not want to wait that long. I will get that one eventually if this one isn't good enough, but I think it's going to be good enough. And then I also got a screen protector for the GoPro, but that's not going to be here until Monday. All right, so I think we are all set to do this house tour, so let's get right into it. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you walk in. It's just a front little foyer type room. And we just have a coat closet right here. I need to find a better way to organize the shoes. I try to line them up neatly, but they become a mess so quickly. I just throw them in here. And then it has a top shelf right here where I organize stuff like hats and gloves. And then when we get mail, I just put it in here because my husband likes to just leave it laying on the kitchen table and it just looks so messy and cluttered. So I got this from an antique shop back home in Michigan and it looks so cute right there. You walk this way and to the left, there's the stairs up here. And if you go straight, it takes you all the way to the kitchen and then to the right is the living room. And this couch is huge. And it's so hard to find a spot for it in the living room because it has two big doorways right here and then we have this window right here that goes pretty much all the way to the floor so you're either blocking a doorway or blocking the window i don't like it on this wall we had it on this wall before and we got this couch for a really good deal from somebody it's not exactly what i want in a couch but it works for now and it looked clean and nice when we got it but it reeked of cigarette smoke so we had to do a really deep cleaning with a steam cleaner and we had to douse the whole thing in baking soda so now it has watermarks on the cushions my cushions are really sloppy and pushed down because of the dogs so my husband and i both want to get rid of this couch so badly we're just waiting till we find a couch that we like Hi guys, I am currently editing the video that you are watching right now. And I just wanted to add something super quick. So when I was showing you guys the living room, I didn't have any pillows on the couch besides that ugly blue pillow. So today I actually went and got some new pillows for the couch. So I just wanted to show you a quick little view of the new pillows because it looks way better than it did in this video. So I just got these pillows today from Walmart. I went with gray because with this color of a couch, Nothing really looks good with this color of a couch. And like I said, we are hoping to get a new couch eventually. So I just bought gray so I know it's going to match the future couch. And I love pillows like this with that soft detailing. It makes it a little cozy and fun. And then it has the tassels. I love pillows with tassels. And then I got this pillow to somewhat match with it. I don't like things being matchy matchy. I like two different patterns, but still within the same color wheel, but it has the stripes and some different textures on it than that one. And I got the same thing for this corner over here. It definitely makes the living room or just the couch feel more cozy. I know this couch is hideous. I'm doing what I can with the couch. I'm trying to work with it. But yeah, those are the new pillows. You will actually see me get those pillows, kind of, in next week's video. See you later. And then there's this really nice window here that I absolutely love. Then I just have a basket of blankets. And then we have our TV stand stocked with all the books that we read a lot. And I have picture frames up there, but I still do not have pictures in them. And then I just have some simple decorations on here right now. Again, nothing is the way that I want it to be. And then this is all just the stuff I was using for the video, all my camera stuff and the stuff that came in. And then I just put this mirror here just for the time being because the corner looks super blank with nothing there. And I don't know exactly what I wanna put there. I have quite a few ideas 
but I haven't decided for sure. And then you go here and it takes you into the kitchen slash dining room slash eat-in kitchen. And then right here is a pantry. And it's a decent size, but the shelving here sucks. So we kind of just have to throw everything on the ground, like my small kitchen appliances, my air fryer, pressure cooker, waffle maker, stuff like that. And then being that this is really the only closet downstairs besides for the coat closet, I put a lot of my hobby stuff in here that I use quite often, like my sewing and knitting, some workout gear when I want to work out at home. And then we just got these boxing gloves because Donovan and I like to practice boxing on each other. He's trying to teach me the correct way of boxing. I just start swinging like a crazy person. And then more kitchen stuff that I use almost every day. And then here is the dining room. I got this table from a resale place, kind of like a thrift store. But the reason why I got it is because it's a really sturdy kitchen table. It's really nicely built, but obviously it's outdated with the color. I want to completely sand and strip the whole thing down and then restain the tabletop a dark brown color. And I'm debating if I want to also stain the legs or paint the legs white and then sand them down to make them look a little weathered and worn. And then same thing with the chairs where the orange oak coloring is. I'm gonna stain that the dark brown and then for sure I'm gonna paint that cream color the white color. But I'm debating if I wanna do it for the legs on the table, but I'm leaning towards painting the legs white. And then I don't have anything here yet. I have an idea of what I wanna put on this wall, but again, we're not gonna be here for that long. So we'll see if it happens or not. And then we have the backyard. It's super tiny and the whole backyard is pavers. There's no grass back there. So we had to put a faux grass back there and it just looks messy. So I'm not even gonna show you it. And then here is the kitchen. I love the kitchen. Obviously the color of the cabinets is not what I pick, but this isn't my forever home. It's housing the Coast Guard is giving to us. So I appreciate it and I love the kitchen so much. We have a dishwasher here. It's smaller than the standard size dishwasher, but that's okay because it's just Donovan and I. So it works for the both of us. And I am so happy to have a dishwasher because everybody hates hand washing dishes. The only complaint that I have about this kitchen is that there was no microwave. We had to get a microwave, which isn't a big deal. We're fine with getting a microwave. We got this microwave for a really good deal on Facebook Marketplace and it works perfectly. We love it, but it has to sit on the counter. And what really sucks about that is that there's no good place for a microwave on these counters. I would love to put it here, but the microwave is too big for this counter. And then the other outlet is over here and I don't want to put it over here because it's going to take up so much counter space here and I want this to be open. I don't want a big microwave sitting here blocking it. So we have to put it over here. And the problem with that is, is that it has to be on this angle. I've tried it on every single angle over here and this is the only angle that works and it ends up taking up a huge portion of the countertop over here. So it makes it hard to cook here because I have to cut veggies and everything over here and then bring it over here. I do it sometimes over here, but there's not much room over here at all. So that is the only complaint I have for the kitchen here. Everything else is perfect, works great. Here's my puppy. Oh, and then I have this cute little cow picture here. I've had this for a while and I've just kept it ever since waiting to put it up in my house and I finally got to. And then here is the hallway where we first walked in down there. It comes all the way down here and to the left is the laundry room. So this housing does not come with a washer and dryer. You have to have your own and the dryer is electric, not gas. And then across this hall on the right is the half bath. It's just a standard half bath, nothing special, but it works perfectly. It comes with this above the toilet, this little medicine cabinet.
And then the last closet is just the furnace and water heater and all that. I just put our vacuum and steam cleaner in here. If you do not have a steam cleaner, get one. My mom never had one growing up and I don't know why. We got one and it is literally the best thing to have. I didn't really know about steam cleaners until I met my husband and his mom had one and it's amazing. Anytime you spill something, if the dogs accidentally go potty inside, anything like that, you just whip that out and steam clean it up. And then I have a little table right here, like a little grab and go table. This is actually an end table. It goes with my TV stand. Because of how big this couch is, there's nowhere to put that end table. So I just stuck it right here for right now. I obviously want to get a longer table here and then maybe put a circle mirror up here or pictures up here of the family. But for right now, this is what I have. And Donovan got me that plant. I love it so much. And then I just got this from Goodwill. Thought it was really cute. We just put our wallet and keys and just grab and go stuff like that. And then to the right is the stairs. So when you first walk upstairs, the first door on the right is a closet. And these closets up here have no shelving. Every closet does have a light though, which I absolutely love. And then the next door on the right is the second bedroom. Right now we have this as a guest bedroom and the dog's bedroom. But what I really want to do with this bedroom, being that we don't have too many guests because we're all the way out in New Jersey and all of our family is either in Florida or Michigan. What I want to do is get a sleeper sofa and put it on one of these walls and then get a desk and put it over here. Because otherwise this bedroom is kind of going to waste and Donovan is in school and when I want to edit my YouTube videos or do stuff like that, I would like a designated workspace instead of sitting on the couch or sitting at the dining room table. It'd be really nice to have it up here and this is the room and the house that gets the most light. So we do plan on doing that and then just putting this bed away in storage aren't you so cute aren't you so cute I love you it does have some shelving and room to hang your clothes but we just kind of use it as a storage closet. I have all my camera gear right here Donovan and I love to play Nerf guns we have Nerf wars all the time all my books sewing, yoga, board games, game consoles. What are you doing? <laughs> and then with this bed, for some reason, the second pillow was just gone. It's nowhere in this house. My mom stayed here back in December and I think she accidentally took it with her. So we only have one pillow right now. And then this door is just another closet. I keep all of Donovan and I's extra clothes and just extra boxes and stuff like that. And here, like this is summer clothing. So when summer comes, I'll pull that all out into my closet and then put my winter clothes in here. But again, no shelving. And then this bedroom is our bedroom. Zoe messed up the bed already. Oh, and every single room, the living room, dining room, and the two bedrooms have the lighting with fans on it. But this is our bedroom. Not too much going on in here. Still don't have a dresser. And then we have my vanity that I have still have yet to get a stool or chair for, but I am on the lookout for one. They kind of have like his and her closets in this bedroom, and this would be the his closet because it's smaller. And I wanted to put Donovan stuff in here, but it has no shelving. So we just put extra things in here, like this is the clothes that I want to donate, our suitcases, Donovan's random stuff that he doesn't really ever use, extra blankets. And then we have our little end tables. I got these from Marshalls a couple years ago. They were $50 each. They're too small now, but we're using them for now. And then I got this map from Hobby Lobby like five years ago. I absolutely love it. And then here is our closet that we share. All Donovan stuff on this side. 
and then all my stuff on this side and again we don't have a dresser yet so I have to put a lot of stuff up here then I have the shoe rack another shoe hanger thing but yeah I absolutely love this closet and then I need some sort of storage thing. Like everybody has those Alex drawers from Ikea, but I don't really care for them. I feel like they're overdone now, but I need to find something to store this makeup in here. But yeah. And then the last room on the tour is our bathroom. I love this bathroom, I think it's awesome. My only complaint is this huge wall that they had to carry out so far. I mean, you could have stopped it like at the vanity or not done a wall at all. It might be a low bearing wall. So I think that it, no, I don't think this would be a low bearing wall. Never mind, scratch that. So we have a few drawers down here and then this is a medicine cabinet mirror. So it opens up and then we have our go-to perfumes. This is the one that I talk about all the time in my other few videos. Wonderstruck Enchanted by Taylor Swift. Love it. And then these little containers right here matches the soap dispenser. I got these from Walmart. I absolutely love them. I think they're so dang cute. And then we have a linen closet. Super, super small. And here we have the toilet and another little cabinet. And then this pulls down. Zoe, do you mind? She does this all the time while we're showering. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for the house tour. All right, so that is it for the house tour. Like I said, this is not exactly what I want my housing to look like with the decor and everything, but it's what it looks like for now and I absolutely love it. I love living here. If you have any questions about the housing or any comments, go ahead and comment them below. And if you have any video requests, go ahead and comment that below too. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.